Hello, yes, UKIP, Henry Bolton and Sleaze. That's right. That's what UKIP will be synonymous with now. Henry Bolton and Sleaze. And don't, don't fool yourselves in believing the CD saga is over. There'll be more to this, trust me. Will Joe Marley leave Henry Bolton after she finds out he's a crossdresser or some other bizarre story hits the headlines? We shall see. Or will this now prompt another leadership challenge within UKIP, bringing more uh, disruption to the party, alienating more voters when UKIP needs them, just in case Theresa May Vincent Price doesn't honour their obligations, keeps us in the single market, open borders, and we're really just out of the European Union in name and name only. So UKIP needs to keep itself together. And obviously the enemies of Britain know that. And that's why they're in there now, causing as much trouble and disruption as they can. No, it's not all an accident. It's all an accident all the time. You see, when Nigel Farage was leader, none of this was happening because he's a genuine patriot. He's not in the pay of MI5 or either it's two criminal proxies. Hope not hate Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Sailor Magazine. He's a genuine person. You may not agree with him. On everything, I don't, but he's better than trees of the appease and all the rest of them, isn't he? Of course he is, right? So there was none of that when Nigel Farage was head of UKIP. But as soon as he foolishly stepped down, that's when all the spies have been activated and all the trouble, Stephen Wolf, handbags at dawn in the European Parliament. And oh, oh, the, uh, the, the cat fight in Harleypool, I'll leave that at the end. That's a classic example of the dirty tricks department, the state or its two criminal proxies, Hope Not Hate, Nick Lowe, Jerry Gable, Taylor Magazine, are playing. Probably Hope Not Hate more so. And that Nick Lowe's, they're unscrupulous swines that don't play by any rule book, right? The big boys in MI5 have to. That's why I believe they pass them to the criminal proxies. They can do what they want then. The handbags at dawn in Hartlepool, if that doesn't tell you what our enemies, because your enemies are my enemies, will get up to, then nothing will. They will do anything, right, to stop patriots taking control of this country. Genuine patriot, British patriots, they will do anything they can. They're all in allegiance to this globalist elite agenda, whatever that may be. Now, Baron Rothschilds doesn't ring up. Theresa May and say, come on Theresa, we're banking on you, keep it in the air, European Union or single markets, open borders. It doesn't work like that. What I believe is happening in the world is that the liberal Marxist poison mindset, it's affected everyone now. Even the so-called Tories, right? They're infected with this poison. And I think that's what's happening now is that the media sets the agenda as well. That sets the tone, doesn't it, as to how you're meant to think. You're meant to be, uh, you know, uh, pro-immigration, uh, you know, open borders, pro-equality, diversity, all the usual stuff that we, we see happening today. They just know, don't they? I, I don't know how. If indeed it's the result and work of the Frankfurt School Disciples, Adorno, uh, Marcuse, I don't know, but if it is, Christ, it's devilish, isn't it? What they have achieved. If indeed it is the result of the Frankfurt School, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, really. We are where we are, and that's that. Uh, so, you keep Henry Bolton in sleeves. That's what you, you keep going to be synonymous with Henry Bolton, the little uh, Jack Russell, and his uh, sleazy, bogus model, sleaze, and God knows what else. And it's the end of it. I don't know if you remember he mentioned in a video sometime last year that politics, sex and vicars do not mix. All UKIP needs now is the vicar of the BMP, Reverend West. <laughs> That's it. Right, you can have it more seedier and dirtier, can't you? Because no matter what, when not you've got truth on your side, you can't recover from all them sex attacks and, uh, you know, vicars and all that and whatever. Uh, only if you... 
you're yeah, part of the uh, establishment you can because then they'll do a, a new program for you to re rehabilitate you but when you're portrayed as the baddie you can never be the underdog so that won't work for us we won't recover from seedy sex stories or vicar stories or whatever the bmp made a big mistake promoting that reverend west in the bmp he should have been left a member because it doesn't matter whether he's genuine or not it, it's not a bad it's not a good combination that vicars uh, politics and, and sex it just they just don't mix right you know and it doesn't enhance your profile street cred either it just makes you look weirdos with vicars and holy joes and uh, you know the work of the lord and all that it, it's bad it's bad but anyway so you kip now it's very sad what is happening but it's it's predictable it's very, very, it was very predictable. I've, I've mentioned it over a year or so ago, what was going to happen. You see, the same forces that have been stopping, destroying British nationalism are the same ones doing it to UKIP now. You know, uh, Nigel Farage, you've spent 25 years campaigning uh, within UKIP to get us out of the European Union. You succeeded, but you've jumped ship too quick you've put your faith in the treacherous Tories to deliver they have no intentions of delivering just like Margaret Thatcher were being swamped and then flooded Britain full of immigrants once she was elected you jumped ship too quick Mr Farage and I hope not but your 25 years of building up UKIP and getting us out of the European Union may all have been in vain we shall see but UKIP Henry Bolton and sleaze. All we need now is the Reverend West of the BMP to join you, Kevin. You've got the lot then. Okay, thank you. Right, 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 fine. I'm on medication. Right? I have vertigo. I'm 62. And I have full points. I'm under the doctor. Okay? I came back into this country. You are? No! So you don't no. even live here? You haven't always lived here? So actually you've I'm just on, come I'm back. On. So you're the migrant I'm who's stealing all our jobs and taking our women me. and destroying our I country. came back into this country on the 21st of yeah. March. And I came so back So you literally just country. got back here to be racist. I've been abroad to see my family in New Zealand. I'm allowed to go out this country when I want. Well, they don't tell me who I am and what I'm doing. You had no right to pull my hair and attack me. I throw that drink. Uh, yes, with juice, I didn't pull your hair. Go away. You need, you need to learn to manage. You need to go to a chair and ask for forgiveness. I love you. Because when the police come, I'm having you arrested for assault and battery. Let's, let's leave it. No, don't leave it. Leave it yeah. I have a right to say what sign, I want. Sign, but but she's not attached to me. Let's scratch right. on my yeah. legs. Go and get yourself Look started. Look at this state of me. The police are on the way. Right. right, I've never had a drink, and I'll prove that because I've got the juice there in the cupboard. Yeah. The police are on the way. Right, but away. you, lady, you were going down for this.